we are now on the last topic, and that is graphing exponential functions. These two, we are going to graph. There are two functions that I wrote in which we are going to graph. The first one is the function that is written on your modules, on your modules. But then, the second example, I gave that one as another form on the examples on the modules, but then they have the same basis, so they are related to each other. In here, same with the last topic that we do in the inverse function when we graph, we will focus on the center. But this time, I put the value of x and the value of y in a vertical formation. But the one that was given to you during our previous meeting, it's all in the horizontal formation. But they are still the same, vertical or horizontal. Any, basta asa inyong comfortable to use. So for this one, let us solve this graph. Function f of x equals 2x. Of course, you cannot solve this if the formation is like that. Change f of x to equation that becomes y is equal to 2 to the power of x. Okay? So in here, since there's a value of y, that is 2 to the power of negative 3. That's exponent. Negative 3. Remember, negative exponent is a no-no. So you put it down, that becomes 1 over, what is 2 cubed? 2 times 2 times 2, it is 8. So 1 over 8. That's the first one. The second one, 2 to the power of negative 2. And since the exponent is still negative, you place it down 1 over 4. Because 2 times 2, it is 4, or 2 squared. The third, 2, negative 1, it is 1 over 2, 1 half. 2 to the power of 0, remember, any number raised to the power of 0 is always equal to 1. That's 1. And 2 to the power of 1, it's 2. 2 squared, that's 4. And 2 cubed, I'm sorry, 2 cubed, that is 8. Okay? So, we are done. These two are your ordered pairs. These are your ordered pairs and that is the way that you need, that is one, the one that we are going to plot on our Cartesian plane, on the Cartesian plane. Let us see. The highest number is 8. On the numerator, I will change this. So let us do it below. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8, we need 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. And we need 2, and then 1. These are the negative numbers for y. Remember, these are the y values. And these are for the x. So, negative 3 for x and 1, 8 for the value of y. So, nara na siya ni na peta. Next, negative 2, 1 fourth. So, kaupatun ani mo na rin na siya din na tita. Negative 1, 1 half. Kapunga. So, sa kagamay. Nagkasaka siya. 0 and 1. 0, 1. 1, 2. 1, 2. And then, it increases rapidly directly. 2, 4. 3, 8. 3, a. So your graph is going that way. Actually, it will never touch the x-axis, but it will nearly touch the x-axis, and that is what you call asymptote. Asymptote. You have learned that one before. It will touch. Uh, it will nearly touch, but never touch the axis. So I only need these two. I don't need solution to get the values of the y. Just answer it but like that. Okay? Ingan alam and then graph it. I think I have four numbers in this kind in your activity. On the second one, seconds, the value is different. Negative 3 minus 1. 
So we will solve it by looking. The base is 2. Negative 3 minus 1. It's negative 3 minus 1 that is negative 4. It's negative 4. And if it's negative 4, what we will do? Of course, that is 1 over 16. 1 over 16. This 2, this is the second. Negative 2 minus 1, that's negative 3. 1 over 8. Same. But then, this time, it's on negative 2. Magkagamay yun ito ng distance. Negative 1. So, 2. Negative 1 minus 1. It is negative 2. So, 1 fourth. That is 1 over 4. Here, 2 to the power of 0. I mean, I'm sorry. 0 minus 1. It's negative 1. So that is one half. One half. Bring it down. One. One minus one. So it is two to the power of zero. It is one. In here, two. Two minus one. One. So two. Three. Three minus one. Raised to the power of two. Because 3 minus 1 is 2, so the answer is 4. The highest number is 4. So, ato ilagyo ang ato ang tape 1. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, let's start. Negative 3, 1 over 16. Nagkagamay. 1 over 16, negative 3. Negative 2, it is 1 eighth. So, naragha po na din ha. Murag dool dool na. Negative 1, 1 fourth. Nara din ha. Kaupatun. 0, 1 half. So, naasa half. 1, 1. 2, 2. 1, 2. 3, 4. 3 and 4. So, the graph is going that way. If you've noticed it, that the graph, if you look at it, it's on the zero one, but this time the one is shifted already. One unit to the right. One unit to the right. So in other words, kung minus galing na, okay, for example, minus two, it becomes two units to the right. Kung minus, kung plus, reverse. So kung negative, two units here, depende kung pila iyang number magka-move ang iyang graph over there. Okay? So, I hope you could answer the four uh, graphic problems on the activities that you had. You can finish it, this one in a very short time for next week. I hope you will be guided accordingly because this one, of course, for this one, gamay lang pinali ang points na akong ihatag. Okay, one point and one point, one point and one point. Okay, kung marong pag sa problem, wrong na imong graph. Ha? Wrong, wrong. At least, duha na imong wrong. Okay? That ends the lesson for next week. You have three topics. That is evaluating functions, solving exponential equations, and the last one is graphing exponential functions. I hope you will do it piece by piece. And if you have questions, you join our Zoom every Mondays and Tuesdays depending on the sections that you belong. Let us pray to end. Thank you, dear God, for guiding us during our uh, afternoon session or this session discussion. May you guide my students as they answer and understand the module for the week. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye.